what's going on guys welcome back to mystery box monday yes i hope everybody's had a fantastic week let me throw this lid down there and uh yeah it's uh, been very 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 slow for actual brand new stuff this week um i keep missing out on all of the the really good brand new stuff but we do have a couple of cars in here so sit back relax and enjoy and uh if you saw last week's episode you did see a sneak peek of these Johnny Lightnings. These are from the Muscle Car and Corvette National Series. And these are a limited edition set. And this one is one of 2,834. And it's the 1969 Dodge Dart GTS. Very, very nice. And look at that copper poly gold. Well, copper color, not gold at all. And absolutely fantastic. Uh, this was released recently in a different color, it's actual true color, which is the light blue poly. So I thought I'd just bring that out just to show you. And there we go, a little bit of a comparison. So you can see the actual car is that color, close to that color. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, crack this open. Oh, wait a second. There's all six you can collect, plus the uh, color variations and the extra stuff there too. Well, that's pretty cool. Close that up and have a good close look. It's awesome. And there's some extra information there as well. Never thought to read that to be honest. <laughs> I really should, shouldn't I? It'd be nice to read that stuff before th putting the packaging away. And how nice is this? Wow. I do like this copper gold colour. Oh, that is very nice. A lot of metallic in that. You get the stripes on the back. GT Sport. You get a little red light there. And you get some silver trim over the top of the wheels. And these wheels are really cool with the red line tires. Nice old school mag wheels. Wow, very cool. Get the uh, door handle painted up, plus all the around the window trim. It's very nice. And you have a white and black interior that is cool let's go around to the front we get more silver paint around the window and on the window what windscreen wipers get these extra bits here painted up that's pretty cool oh that's awesome oh, it's got all the front headlight details too that's nice and the macacken license plate such great detail on these cars Fantastic detail. Around the back there we get all the lights painted up. The Dodge Dart, what a cool looking car. A nice black panel on the back there. That's just really, really cool. So I'm kind of getting engrossed in this as well. Very cool, we get a little bit of silver paint down there as well. That's awesome. Really cool. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what this looks like inside. There we go. Be gentle. Oh wow, that is painted very nicely. That is cool. We get the blue engine block. We get silver uh, covers over the head there. Wow. And there's the base there too. Pretty cool. Good tread on the tires as well. And all this extra detail on the bottom looks awesome. All the transmission, suspension, all those goodies. What a cool looking car. All right, let's get this other guy up. Put this guy next to it. Which one do you prefer? The original stock standard version with the standard style wheels or the mag wheels in gold? Two slightly different themes going on with these cars, but they are the same car, different colors. I like the mag wheels. I reckon this one looks really, really cool. Come out the side as well. Have a nice look. Get a bit of shadow out of the way. That looks awesome. Two really, really nice examples of this car. Really, really nice. All right. 
let's put those both of those up there okay let's get into some hot wheels there's a couple of hot wheels and then we'll get into some more of these johnny lightnings um, one of the very few, few uh, new case cars that i found here is the draftinator kind of like a fantasy casting of a uh, a drift truck in the x races theme see number two on the top there pretty cool designs and yeah just thought that was a very very cool cool car i do quite enjoy the x racer cars you can get to see into them right let's put that guy up the back there i also found the new color version of the head gasket this was first in a uh, really dark metallic red now it is in a white with red flames very cool yeah, big huge tires on the back there you get a big wing car up makes it look really cool too there you go there's the engine you get some suspension shock absorbers on the front there very nice uh, from the daredevil series which is a very cool one to collect all right here we go let's get into another one of these yes we're going to open we're not going to open the last two uh, because I'm still trying to find the other color variations of those two. Uh, so we'll get to those ones. But we'll still get to look at them, don't worry. Don't worry, we will still get to look at them. Up next is the Corvette, or the 1969 Chevy Corvette ZL1. And this is in a Riverside Gold. And this was first released in a Monaco Orange. Very cool. We do have that one sitting here as well don't you worry about that so yeah very very cool to see this second color variation and i think this gold is actually a very nice color um we'll have to quickly get this out i think oh yeah let's look at the extra information on the side there you can read that really quickly very cool one of 2834 and the picture one doesn't want to come out there we go a little bit stuck in there and there's a good look at the card art while we're here very nice let's look at the car Ooh, this gold is really really nice it's really kind of like a dark champagne kind of gold but that is very very nice it actually looks like a very familiar color uh, my uh, Holden Commodore is actually this colour, or very close to this colour. Very nice. Alright, let's go around for the details. Get all the chrome bumpers and everything on the front there. Get the flags, the Corvette flags. Get all the extra, is that 427? There was silver paint there. Silver paint around the window trim, that makes it look really nice. I do like these wheels. These are the classic Corvette wheels. Very, very cool. BF Goodriches. Let's sting around the side there where the vents are. Get all chrome down there. Just such a cool looking car. Such a cool looking car. You all, you all know that I'm a huge Corvette fan. And uh, yes, I will be collecting every single one of these Johnny Lightnings that I can find and one day I'll have an entire colour range of every colour that they've produced. So, very nice to actually have these in my collection. I do only have these two, but I think that, I think that they're just really, really nicely done. Real lights painted up, get the chrome bumpers, chrome exhausts, just fantastic. Absolutely awesome looking car. And you get a brown leather interior. That looks really nice. Let's see if we can open the. Let's see if we can open this one today. On the other one, I had to pop it down like this. Actually, we'll just do it. There we go. It's the exact same engine, so we'll just look at this one because I know that it opens. Awesome. Just really, really well detailed cars. All right, let's put these guys side by side. And which one do you like, the original or the new gold? Um, I like the new gold. That is a beautiful, beautiful car. So, 
so awesome. Yeah, I have to know which one you guys like, which is your favorite color. I think that they both look really cool on their own, but if I had a choice of the two, I would take the gold one. Just really, really nicely done. Really, really nice. Those guys up there. All right, let's get into another one. Uh, this is the AM. Oh no, this is the Pontiac GTO. Uh, I don't have the Pontiac GTO open, or actually, I don't even have the Pontiac GTO. There we go. That, 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 that. Okay, so I need the I need the Pontiac GTO and the Mustang Boss 302 from the uh, the previous series from the uh, from this green card series. So yeah, lucky I didn't open this one straight away. This is the 1972 Pontiac GTO in a beautiful, beautiful red, cardinal red. And it gives extra information there as well. Also one of 2,834. And we'll have a look at the details today just through the plastic blister. And I hope you can understand that I do want to find the second color. And uh, yeah, when we, when we find the second color, we'll open this one up. Just what a cool looking car. Really nicely detailed with the silver bumpers and the lights painted inside the bumpers. Wow, white roof, very cool. Really nice silver wheels, chrome wheels. You can get the racing stripe along the side there too. And the GTO at the back. And this one has a white and black interior also. Wow. So I'm assuming that these ones are more of the like a hot rodded version, are they? Or is it just a simple color variation? Because that looks pretty hot rodded to me as well. Um, yeah. I don't know. Those will just look really cool. Oh, anyway, when I find the when I find the yellow one, we'll open up this one. So that's just awesome. Really, really, really nice. All right, let's get into a couple of Hot Wheels. Up next is the RV there yet. And uh, this is one of those caravan cars from the Getaway series, which, which is actually a really, really cool casting, I have to say. And I, I've collected every one of them so far, and I think I'll be collecting all of the future ones. And uh, this is nice as well. It's a uh, metal caravan with a plastic car. So plastic base. But just, <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Uh, two, two sets of wheels and a fake wheel in the center, which doesn't actually do anything. But I think that it fits because they've painted the wheel area the same as the wheel that they've used. Just a really, really, really cool car. Car and caravan combination. So yeah, what do you guys think about this? I know it's a very odd looking casting, but I really, really like it. I reckon that looks really, really cool. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Put that guy up there. Uh, next one up is the 2017 Lamborghini Urus from the Factory Fresh series. And well, we opened a blue one up a couple of weeks ago. So let's open the white one up. Put that away, we don't want that. And uh, yeah, I actually had to go through a couple of these to find a good one. Um, a couple of them had missing headlights, like the, the headlight paint had been scratched off in the blister. So it's very nice to actually get one with a decent paint job. And on the front there we do get actually nice clean headlights. They look good. With the Lamborghini Raging Bull in the center. And the uh, blacked out grill looks cool. Or the black paint on the grill makes it look really, really cool. These huge, huge wheels which only seem to, to suit Lamborghinis for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of these wheels at all. I, do not like them but hey some cars they kind of look okay and tinted window can't really see anything inside the interior but it does have an interior and around the back here we get the cool rear end of the urus and it sort of has a two-tone color gets the black on the bottom and get all the lights painted up with the license plate just a very very cool car um, I have seen a few of these 
and we get a paint along the side there so this is a proper two-tone color yeah as I was saying I've seen a couple of these driving around now and they're really really cool I do actually enjoy them so yeah who would have thought that an SUV could actually be cool until Lamborghini made one all right let's go next up is the Trans Am the 1973 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am in a beautiful white with blue fire chicken on the front there ah oh, just looks fantastic uh, second color or well, the first color was a classic oh no that's not the one that's the one uh, was a Brewster green there you go there's the card art for that and here is the Brewster green car very cool we had some green chicken on the top there so a little bit of a quick double comparison all right let's put this guy aside yes this one is a near cameo white some extra information you can read there as well very cool one of 2834 wow in white with the blue bird on the front there that looks really good oh that was lucky Get rid of that. Have a look at the card out there. Very cool. And wow, yes, this is much nicer than the Brewster Green one. Gets the red interior as well. Oh, that is really, really cool. These authentic wheels with the fire stones. Oh, yeah, blue Trans Am written on the side there. The orange mark light. Yeah, all the headlights and the grill and the indicators all painted up there too. Come on camera, focus. There we go. And there's the blue Firebird on the front. Wow. Oh, this is definitely cooler than the other one. Don't usually go much for white cars, but certain cars just look really, really nice in white. Nice simple white paint job very nice around the back there you get Trans Am the rear tail lights the chrome bumpers that is awesome the number plate's a little bit crooked though <laughs> and there's the base there too very cool I like the, the wheel choice on this that looks really really nice let's get this guy next to this guy there you go nice little side by side comparison How cool are they? A couple of awesome cars. I really do love the Trans Am. It's one of the cars that are in the top of my most wanted to eventually buy one day would be a Trans Am. And yeah, that'd be really nice. Oop, wrong way. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. What do we got next? Uh, the 1970, C, 1970 AMC Rebel Machine. And this is in the race livery. Rebel Machines, Hugh Ryder. And this is in a frost white with red, white, and blue theme. Extra information there you can read also. And wow, I completely forgot I even bought this one. I didn't even realize. I honestly thought that it was just a, a white version with a, a, a blue stripe on the hood. Um, first color was the, uh, the classic black there. And that's the original we opened a couple of weeks ago. Really, really nice, clean black. Put that one down to the side. Let's open this one up because this is really really beautiful you can see all the racing sponsors uh, racing livery along the side there with the red stripes blue stripe along the bottom really cool racing drag wheels come around to the front here get all the headlights and everything painted up get the blue stripe can we open the bonnet on this one oh that was easy and there we go there's the engine inside there, blue engine. Can't really open it very much, unfortunately. 
really cool. I like the chrome bumpers, really nice. And on the side here we get all of these details once again. Oh, this stripe goes along over the side, uh, over the back, and wraps around. That's really cool. And all the really nice details on the back there. This one has the lights inset into the bumper. Very, very nicely done. And you can't really see much in the interior. It's very black in there. Uh, the base is very simple also. So, very nice, big treaded tyres. Really cool. Alright, let's get this guy next to the black car. And once again, which one do you prefer? Classic black or the race livery? Uh, this is a hard decision because they both look absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing looking cars. So you'll have to let me know in the comments which one is your preferred. I don't know. I'd have to have this one to drive everywhere every day and then this one to drive in the races. So good compromises to take both of them. Put those guys up there. Uh, last couple of cars. Uh, the new Zombot from the Mattel games is uh, the new recolor, I should say, of the Zombot. It is now in blue from the Rock'em Sock'em Robots. And there we go, you can see it's a little robot dude there, ready to punch his way into a fight. So you get the red guy and he fights the blue guy. So very nice that they did the both colors of that. So yeah, you can actually have a, a little Rock'em Sock'em Robots battle if you really wanted to. Put that one up there. And the last two cars, I'm gonna just get this box out of the way. Last two cars, um, get to that one in a second, because uh, I'm not going to open that one, I'm sorry. Uh, but we will open this. This is the, the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. And it's really, really nicely done in white. You get a little bit of a red chrome trim on the wheels. And the rear end looks slightly painted up but on the tail lights. But you do get the Corvette logo with the racing stripe going over the whole thing. So, yeah, very excited for this one. Very excited. Ah, uh, yes. And as we were saying, you know, I'm a Corvette guy. So this is really, really nice. It's more of a metallic white paint job. Very cool. Really nice headlights. Get your racing stripe. Get a carbon fiber effect on the, on the bonnet there. That's really cool. That's really cool. You get this black splitter. Really nice. The black side skirts and the black diffuser and we also get the racer stripes corvette logo on the back there and a little bit extra black paint there too we don't get any red paint on the rear tail lights but they do have uh, a little bit of silver paint there <laughs> anyway let's move on to the racing stripe over the top and into the interior what a cool looking car and the wheels look pretty nice as well Beautiful wing on the back there. Yes, very, very cool. So we'll put this guy up here next to this other red, other white car. And we'll just take a quick look at this because we're almost out of everything to show. Actually, the last couple of things I've got, I'm, I'm only going to show. So uh, yeah, this is the last car from the McCacken series. I'm trying to find this blue version here. And then we'll open this one up too, the 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And this is a really, really nice red, beautifully detailed car. Candy Apple Red. No wonder it's such a beautiful color. You get all the details in the front painted up and everything. You can even see the, the Mustang logo in the front there. Black striping, get your chrome trim. You get black rear window louvers. That's pretty cool. And a little black wing. Just really, really nicely done once again. I'm just so happy to find Johnny Lightnings in Australia. Just really, really cool. I know I get excited about them all the time, but yeah, they're just one of those things. You just they're just so hard to find. Um, it seems that a lot of collectors really like these, so these are incredibly hard to find, especially multiples. Um, you usually just find a few of the, the 
excess cars that nobody wants, like the Jeep Wrangler and the, the, the Stealth. The Dodge Stealth seems to be hanging around a lot also. Um, anyway, let's move on to the monster trucks. This is the Volkswagen Drag Bus. And very nice to see it actually used as a, as a monster truck. So there's the Volkswagen Combi. Got all the painted headlights on the front there. This really nice low rider style design along the paintwork. Just absolutely fantastic. It's a, uh, like a golden yellow to red sort of fade paint job. Really, really nicely done. Got a red wing on the roof there. And you get the paint wrapping around to the rear where the engine is. Um, I haven't opened it yet, so I do not know if it still flips open but I'm doubting very much that it does. So maybe in a future episode we can open that up. Uh, here's some of the other cars that you can collect. There is also a Volkswagen Beetle to collect uh, from this series. Uh, doesn't show it on the back. And there's also a Corvette. Um, I've already bought the Corvette one. You would have seen that a few weeks ago. Put that guy up there. And the last thing for the day is actually a pop vinyl and this is a pop rides nascar number 100 dale earnhardt with race car there's a little sticker there and you can see inside you've actually got dale earnhardt racing his little nascar just really 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 awesome thing to find and uh very nice to add to my collection there's a little picture of him there We'll go around to the back there and there we go and the last thing for the day is this so i really hope you enjoyed i like these sorts of things so yeah uh, i don't know, really know where to put this not really any way to put this so i'm just gonna put this off to the side put that in the middle and i'm gonna wish you all a farewell because that's all i've got a very slow week so hopefully next week you know, i'll find something a little bit better something something a little bit more uh because yeah, well, I only found five or six cars in the entire an entire week of looking for stuff. It was just all repeated stuff that I just didn't want to, just didn't want. Like seriously, I've like I've seen it a thousand times already. I don't, I don't need to see keep seeing D case. D case is everywhere. So fingers crossed for next week, and I hope you guys all have better luck hunting. And yeah, fingers crossed for you too, guys. So until next week, I hope you take care and I will see you all then. Bye.